Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Prospector. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a closed beta build, so it goes without saying that everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. For example, there's really nothing on the main menu here in terms of an options menu. That's something I would like to see. Once you are in-game, then yes, there are a lot of different options you can choose between, although the windowed mode is just a windowed mode. It's not resizable. There's no resolution option, so you're stuck with a postage stamp style window if you choose to do that, but my poor eyes can't see that that small, so um, I had to play in full screen, which is, again, it's beta build. I don't mind, but it's just inconvenient. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up where I left off. When you click on new game, it just kind of throws you into everything. There is a tutorial that you can follow as you play, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, the whole gist of this game, really, it, it gives me forager vibes in the sense that you've got this like you've got this gun and you're going to be just harvesting things around the map you're going to be slowly building a base but unlike forager you're going to be sort of i guess you're going to be fulfilling orders and shipping them off planet um, i built this one structure that pretty much allows you to ship things off here we go so again you kind of start off with this thing here uh, you can go inside of it. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I have to eat to survive. Um, the game really hasn't told me how to really find food. I'm trying to find it in the environment as I play. I'll give you a brief overview of what's going on here. In the very bottom left-hand corner is like your build menu. You can construct an exporter to ship things off planet. In fact, my thing just arrived. It looks like I earned some coin there. And you can see your coin tally in the upper right-hand corner. So that's cool. So the exporter does that. And then the muffle furnace allows you to refine ore into various bars. There's a vendor. You can spend credits to unlock new structures. Uh, maybe I'll put that down just for the fun of it. And then I have to laser it. Although I may need power before it'll work. We'll see how that goes. All right, interact. Uh, so the vendor, I, I Tesla coil turret if I want that, but I need money in order to buy that. So it looks like there's, uh, yeah, increase shipping rank in order to unlock new blueprints. So as you level up your shipping rank by shipping things off planet, I'm assuming, um, you'll increase that. So this is the exporter here. Right now I don't have anything, but I'm going to look around in a minute and see if I can find some ore. Um, you can construct things like power uh, routers, like uh, this thing will generate power, and you can, these, these little yellow lines here are like power lines, so you can put those down. And then uh, you've also got like in, say, Astroneer, you've got these oxygen power lines, whatever, that you can put down. And yeah, it's kind of like a top-down Astroneer. Oh, there's some food. Let's come over here and uh, we'll eat that. All right. So yeah, in the upper left-hand corner, the purple meter is health. The middle one, there's no tooltip. I'm not sure what that is yet. And then the yellow one is food. It's hard to tell what that white one is, but uh, you know, maybe we'll figure that out as we go. Um, this is your inventory here. You like your backpack. Um, you can, I guess, get more once you repair the Ophelia unit. And I guess I should probably look into that. Um, what else? There's the T button over there. This is the uh, various orders that you'll see. And if you tab away from that, there's the Atlas. You can discover new colonies, repair gateways to unlock new locations, shipping orders fulfilled. This is your rank that I was talking about earlier. As you rank up, you unlock new things, which I love. Um, orders, all, all of that. The current map of the area. And then your settings menu that I was referring to earlier, it's only available once you're actually in the game. I would love to see this in the options menu. But you can see your current rank here, and I'm, I'm assuming that I can cheat and up that if I wanted to, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna because I enjoy the I enjoy progression like that. Um, so yeah, there's the settings menu here. Again, there's a full screen toggle, but if I were to click on no, um, it would just it would make the screen the size of a postage stamp, and I wouldn't be able to see the window at all. So I think that needs to be fixed. But yeah, so that's a quick look at the, you know, settings menu there. You can pick up, like, plants and and move them. You can move, like, you can replant them in different locations. Every mineable thing has a sweet spot. If you click on it, it'll sort of, like, vacuum heavily. It's represented by, like, a little blue... There's a little blue circle there. Right there. So I'm mining stuff that way. Um, let's go ahead and put down... 
we'll go in this direction, I guess. Looks like I can pick this wheat, but my backpack is full. Let's just go ahead and eat that. Doesn't look like I can actually eat this wheat, though. I wonder if that can be refined into something else. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, ship something else off planet. I don't want to spend too much time with this because it is a beta. And as is typical of betas, I'm going to guess that my progress is going to get wiped at some point, which I'm not too thrilled about. Um, let's go ahead and you can use your mouse wheel to craft more of something, which is kind of nice. So right now I'm crafting this this bar. This Ophelia unit wants one of those that I'm crafting, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, well, I guess we can't pick it up, though. We're going to have to go into our backpack. I wonder if we can drop stuff on the ground. Uh, that one. There we go. So this this uh, seed, let's see if we can plant that. It's just, I don't know what that is. All right, plastic brick. Let's come over here, add the parts. All right. Up and running. I don't know what you're going to do. Oh, okay. All right, then. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting this. All right. Sounds good. It can provide some protection and storage capacity. All right. I've initiated a download of hover carts to your build catalog. Hover carts will further increase your now improved inventory space should you choose to build them. All right. Really cool. So I can right click. So it's pretty much like a mount. I can right click to leave it. Uh, is it going to fall on me? It looks like it is. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and bring that over here. We'll go ahead and replant these things over there. Kind of like an oxygen not included, or not oxygen not included, uh, don't starve. I like to like pick all of the bushes and put them near the base so I don't have to keep traveling the different areas to get them. But yeah, it just seems, so far this is actually quite fun. Oh, I just took a hit. Um, Looks like there are some enemies. Let's see if I, I can laser them, but it looks like they're doing some really nasty damage to me right now. So I may want to steer clear. But yeah, I, it, it just, it seems fairly simple. Like go around, mine stuff. And ship things off planet in order to increase your shipping rank. As you do that, you unlock new stuff. I'm I'm digging this so far. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, there's that hover cart. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is something definitely to keep an eye out for. I was looking on the Steam store page, and apparently there is a demo that you can try if you want to give it a go yourself. I will most definitely continue playing this. Uh, again, I'm a little nervous that my progress is going to get wiped. I'm hoping not. Let's go ahead and place that. There we go. I'm sincerely hoping that my progress does not get wiped. Uh, that being said, I played Forager like five times through and I have a feeling I'll be doing something similar to this. So definitely check this game out. Again, there is a demo that you can try it, uh, but you won't be able to buy it for a while because it's still like a closed beta. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more gameplay of this, let me know. I'll be happy to show it off. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.